Hi, welcome to my channel. In this video I'm going to show you how I made this instrumental. Let's go! This is the project. You can see that there are a lot of tracks here. I will go section by section, like intro, the first verse, chorus, and in each section I will show what sounds I used and how I made them. So let's start with the intro and with the first sound that you hear in the song. I made it in Serum with only noise oscillator. Let's listen to it without any fixes. The key point here is to use filter with a lot of resonance. I have cut off about 2200 Hz and resonance about 93%. Some distortion. EQ, more distortion and big reverb. And let's move to the synth sound. You can see that there are four layers here and the main layer is this one. This is preset from Omnisphere, filthy plug, but I change it a little bit. Let's listen to it without any fixes. And what I changed in this preset is that I added granular. Let's listen without it. And with it. EQ. Distortion and reverb. The second layer, this is the same preset from Omnisphere, but I distorted it a lot with Camel Crusher. Also there are equalization here. Let's listen with this layer and without it. So it adds some nice high frequencies. The third layer is just a soul that modulated by sign and with filter and distortion. And it makes the sound fatter. Let's listen without it and with it. It's not like a huge difference, but I hope you hear it. And the last layer, it's a very distorted sound. I use this waveform, modulated by souls, with distortion and multi bed compression. And it also gives some good high frequencies as for me. So without it, And with it. Also, in the intro section, we have this beautiful cello melody. I also used Omnisphere for the sound. Let's listen to the drums that we have in the intro. The last thing that we have here is this FX. I made it, it also in Serum with noise oscillator and this envelope on, on the filter. And delay and verb. And listen to it all together. Let's move to the next section, where drums, bass, guitar start to play. Let's start with the drums. So the first thing, we have live drums, and I have two layers. The first layer is the drums that I played by myself. Let's listen to them. 
And the second layer is VST drum. And together As for me, they work together very well, because live recorded drums give life in the sound and VST drums make the sound fatter. And for VST drums I used is a drummer, this patch. So with live drums we have a lot of samples. Firstly we have the same loop as in the intro. And also we have few additional samples. Electronic head sound, this noisy sound, and this percussion sound. And all together, drums sound like this. Let's move to the bass. I recorded bass by myself. This is the dry signal. And for amp simulation, I use Ampeg. And also, I used Sealy bass for saturation. And in the start of each node, we have subs to enhance these notes. Let's listen drums with bass. Let's listen to the guitar. I use Neural DSP archetype Nolly for this guitar sound and some equalization. And listen together, drums, bass and guitar. Then we have the same cello melody as in the intro. The same synth. What new we have here is this synth sound. I made it in Serum, I used these waveforms with filter, a lot of distortion and reverb, and of course equalization. And all together... Let's move to the first verse, and let's start with the drums, here we have almost completely electronic drums, but I added live recorded drums here too. But I think the, the main thing here is electronic samples. And with live drums. The bass plays here the same line, like in the previous part. With cello. And in the first verse, pets and piano appear. Let's listen to them. It's just ordinary piano. I use uh, this contact library. And this is the pet section that I really like. As for me, it sounds very nice. I have four layers here. This is the first one. Let's listen to it in solo. This is Omnisphere preset. The second. The third. And the last one. 
this time it's not Omnisphere, it's Quark, M1, Dispatch, Worm, Layer Pad. All together. And in the second part, guitar starts to play. For this sound, I use also Neural DSP plugin, but this time Archetype Pliny. And also, here we have some scratch samples. And new electronic drum samples are added. In the first part, it sounds like this. And in the second part... When we go to the chorus, and the chorus is completely the same as the second part of the intro, but without the main synth melody. The second verse is very similar to the first one, but there are some changes in the drums. In the second verse, drums have more lively sound. Let's listen to them. So here we have also live part with electronic drum samples. And the interesting thing that in the second part of the second verse there is new layer of drums and it sounds quite interesting. Let's listen to, to it. It's completely distorted. Let's listen drums with this layer and without it. And this drum slayer will go through the rest of the song. I made it also by using Easy Drama with EQ that got high and low frequencies, with heavy saturation and with another EQ. The other instruments uh, play the same lines like in the first verse. <laughs> The second chorus is completely the same as the first one. The only difference is that this drum slayer is added. After goes the bridge section, the sounds here are the same as for the previous sections, but uh, here is the new chord harmony. And also, the only thing that is added is this high strings note. It's also Omnisphere.
And uh, this pedal note gives tension to the bridge. Let's listen to the bridge with this note and without it. And this is the great trick how to add more tension to the song is to add high note, high sustained note that will play with changing chords. The last chorus is completely the same as the first one and the second and only thing that is added here is this high note. Then we have the main synth melody again. And in the outro there are some electronic drum samples, distorted drums, Uh, main synth melody and a noisy sound. Thank you very much for your attention. If you watched this video until the end, I really appreciate it. I really hope that you found this video interesting and useful and I hope to see you again. Bye.